Nowadays, the idea of personal business has become a spread one. People are eager to launch a successful enterprise, still, something stops them, education. There is a belief that degree is the key to success, but this is not the whole truth. By degree, I mean long-term studying, for instance, school, college, or university. Can you imagine how many worthy products people lose because of this concept of education? The point is, though it may bring some benefits, there are other vital things people should possess to launch a successful enterprise. First of all, education is worthless without creative thinking and original ideas. You can be a PhD in business and economics, but without a working concept, the company will not be profitable. A typical spread idea will not lead to success, as other people already have done that. It is not fascinating anymore, thus, the entrepreneur will struggle not to go bankrupt. Moreover, let us imagine, there is a perfect idea for a business, but you don't know how to fascinate the consumer, how to present the product. The result is visible, someone will do it better than you with the help of a creative strategy. An innovative approach is significant, in such a case, education may be useless despite the degree. Secondly, in any case, the theoretical base is not sufficient for a successful business. What is more crucial is the experience the person gains. It does not relate business mainly, despite the job, the experience is the main thing that helps to avoid severe mistakes, consequently, become successful. There is a widespread notion that life is entirely different from the textbook. Loads of successful people have started their careers at the lowest positions, as a result, they gained experience from others and became able to open their shops, cafe, PR agencies, etc. Without practical knowledge, people can do less than when they became more proficient in a particular sphere. Let me provide some examples of people who despite their educational background, reached success in business. The most popular entrepreneurs, Steve Jobs, Mark Zuckerberg, Bill Gates, Henry Ford, or Walt Disney. Do you know that Charles Culpepper, the founder of Coca-Cola, had dropped out of school? Folaruncho Alakija, the wealthiest woman in Nigeria, pursued her dreams to start a business, though without a degree. This list can be endless, as apart from millionaires and billionaires, other people did not obtain a degree but reached success in their enterprises and are happy with that. Also, you may have friends, relatives who are philologists, lawyers, or who are without a degree, but they found their place in business and succeed. Probably, this is just because they had an idea and a strong will to develop themselves and their enterprises. Education did not influence their moods and intentions, so why should it stop others? In conclusion, education can be a good base for a successful business, still, this is not an essential aspect. What is more crucial is creative thinking, experience, aim, and desire, some people, not realizing this, continue to hesitate, that is why the market loses really exclusive products. There are various examples of people who, despite their degree or its absence, developed their businesses and became successful. If you want to launch an enterprise, consider education as something additional, practice, and find a personal creative approach to the issue. Maybe your company will become as famous as other outstanding enterprises are. This and many other essays are available at studycorgi.com.